Good morning, guys. Thank you for joining me. Yeah, you can see the camera jumping up and down. There's currently a small earthquake swarm coming in at Yellowstone. It's 10.01 a.m. Central Daylight Time. So that would make it 9.01 a.m. there. Um, I was thinking as I was watching the uh, web camera that if, in fact, we have a small eruption there, you'd think they would spend the money for a better camera to have better details of, of an eruption event prior to that eruption. But I guess they haven't thought about that. I'm going to start out with this earthquake or several earthquakes since my last report in New Zealand. USGS said it was a magnitude 5.5, but in fact it wasn't. Here's the earthquake as it came in at the promontory. Remember, it's that crack at the bottom of Yellowstone Lake where there is dike intrusion trying to come up. There is a cap of rhyolite blocking it. But this is the first signature of the earthquake. Um, yeah, you can see gases and it went red. I want to bring it down to you because this was in fact a magnitude 5.79. You can see it there at the bottom. And I'm happy to say that after my last report about the earthquake and how that was actually stronger than what the Australian government posted, that they have in fact posted this was a 5.7. They just left off the other digit. So they were more honest this time today about this earthquake than they were originally about that magnitude uh, 6.5. Originally they said it was a magnitude 6.8 and I posted that to Twitter. If you want to keep up to date about earthquakes and other events, that is often censored on YouTube. Follow me on Twitter. Did they come in and review this earthquake and decided to upgrade it later? Yeah, maybe. And then today at 1114 Universal Time, there was a magnitude 6.0. The government of Australia says it was a magnitude 5.7 right now. Maybe they haven't reviewed that one. But it was larger. It was actually a magnitude... Uh, 5.84, I'll bring it down. Maybe USGS will revise theirs too. And you can see it there at the bottom, it's a 5.84. And yeah, it shook up the caldera. Buried within that mess at 8.52, which would actually be 3.52 a.m. local time, there was a magnitude 1.91. And let's look at the spectrogram right there. USGS is reporting a 2.8 earthquake today there in Stanley, Idaho. 2330 and 56 seconds. I do not see it anywhere on my monitor, but I did find this one at 2001. Here we got the promontory. This is West Thumb and the borehole for Yellowstone Lake. There either off on their time or they're not reporting it, more than likely not reporting it. This has a P wave on it. Here on West Thumb, I'll bring this down for you. It comes in as a magnitude 2.36. So that would be at 3 a.m. this morning and it's marked in red. All right, so let's go down. They actually got this other one or two of them. I had posted on Twitter that there was a small swarm coming in and we got two here. There's actually one, two, three, four, five, six and some little tiny stuff. So the first one is a magnitude 1.76. I'll bring it down so you can see it right there. And that would be at, oh, about 9.33 and 55 seconds, somewhere in there. The second one at 14.34 and 20 seconds, or at 9.34, that comes in as a magnitude 1.72. Let me bring this down. 1.72. And that's what the spectrogram looks like there. 
Yeah, the next one is pretty small. I don't know how accurate this is. Uh, 1.81. And this next one is a magnitude 2.0. Let me bring it down for you. I said they came in so quick. Bam, 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 bam. Let me look at another monitor. All right, here at the borehole for Yellowstone Lake, it comes in as a 1.72. Uh, maybe because you can see here how it was just vibrating, just constantly shaking throughout this time of this form, um, that we could not be getting an accurate reading. Using the stream view, this is what it was doing right there. Bam, 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 bam. Let me make that bigger. All right. So at West Thumb, they have them both marked, or two of them marked in red, but yeah, it's obvious. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, and like I said, some several small ones. So now I get um, a 2.29 at West Thumb for this one right here. And a 2.3 for this one right here. Let's go to the one they got marked in red. Right. Well. Okay, that would be the second one. I don't think I'm going to get an accurate reading because you can see throughout here there was a whole bunch of little ones going on. Yeah, I'm not going to get an accurate reading. Um, yeah, 2.57. So how about if I just put them all together? Okay, let's try that. Going from there all the way down to this last one, it comes in as a magnitude 3.54. USGS is now reporting three of them. 1433, a 1.0. Uh, 1434, a 1.3, and 1434 in 29 seconds, a 0 0.5. So this one here, they are reporting as a magnitude 1.3. Trying to figure out where to put it. Let's change it from right there to maybe right there. And I get a 1.50, not a 1.3. Nope. I'm going to give up and try and figure out what they came up with because this is 1434 and zero seconds. This is 1434 and 20 seconds. And they got 1433 and 47 seconds, 1434 and 11 seconds, 1434 and 29 seconds. And this was from earlier, um, 7.29. That's a 0 0.2, a 1.0, a 1.3, and a 0 0.5. Let's zoom in. There you go. Well, was close to West Thumb. You know, they were told they need more monitors there at the park years ago, years ago. At about 8.30 last night, um, Little West Thumb started kicking in. Let me bring this up. Some activity I wanted to show you. About 8 p.m. Central Daylight Time last night. Um, this is Little West Thumb. It started kicking in with some activity. You can see the melt, the line of melt. And I want to bring it over to this one they got marked in red. Do, 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 do. Yeah, look how the melt really rose up there see that okay and right there see how it went right at the bottom and then shot up red um 808 and 30 seconds they got it marked in red they actually got two lines marked in red and it was a series of earthquakes and they're clipped yeah my grandson's here wherever it happened I assume they're at Little West Thumb. They are not reporting it. We have a small signature here at the borehole for um, Yellowstone Lake. 
and it really doesn't show up here at the promontory. Oh, I'm on the wrong line. So at Little West Thumb, which is that ancient caldera, it does show up there. And this is what we get for the borehole for Yellowstone Lake. Barely shows up there. And basically nothing for the promontory. We got lots of little pockets of melt. All right, let me go to the signature. See, there's just so much going on. Remember, I've talked about how the magma's coming up, trying to come up there at Grant. It's going under the lake, traveling east to the promontory. So I'm just going to jump around here to some of these that they got marked in red. Uh, 2003. Let me pull this over a little bit. In 35 seconds, there's one there. And there's another one at 2033 and 30 seconds. 1904 and 5 seconds. I guess I could show you the signature. 2003 and 55 seconds. 1907 and 35 seconds. Yeah, it's been clipped. We've got another one right there. At 1909 and 35 seconds. That one's been clipped too. What else? We got another one. What, right there? 1923 and 50 seconds. Yeah, see the blobs? We got another one here. 1928 and 5 seconds. And that one's been clipped. And where's this one at? Okay, 20, 29 and 25 seconds. That one's tiny, but it, yeah, it brought up a lot of heat. See, that's a 0 0.58. This one's here, a 0 0.67. Did I show you this one already? Or tell you the magnitude? 0 0.56. Yeah, I think I did. Did I say 0 0.56? It's a 1.56. This one here is a 1.56. I think I already showed you that one. I guess we could classify this as drum beats. And I've talked about how when we got thickening of the lines, they actually call it blobs of magma. But it's drum beats. It's coming in, boom, 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 boom. And it just kind of like flows into each other all these little earthquakes and we got another one there this is a yellowstone lake this is from the borehole from yellowstone lake and let me make this bigger yeah harmonic and volcanic earthquakes look at that you know it's been recharging the caldera has been recharging slowly building up it's got two resurgent domes. Most volcanoes only have one. It's got the Mallard Lake resurgent dome, which you see behind Old Faithful. And it's got the Sour Creek resurgent dome. Let me show you. You know, I want to be as accurate as possible for the magnitude of these earthquakes. And when they come in so fast, yeah, it's impossible unless there was more monitors. Anyways, here's the Mallard Lake resurgent dome by Old Faithful. Um, this line of uplift between this resurgent dome and this one here, which is the um, Sour Creek resurgent dome, it's had an uplift, um, I don't know, about two inches there, three to four inches here, and it goes up and down, up and down, it constantly breathing. And I'm feeling really frustrated right now that they're coming in so fast that I cannot give you guys an accurate um, account of how large these earthquakes are. But the ground is getting really brittle. That's why we're seeing so many of these small earthquakes. 
Yeah. Kind of like glass. And it will not take a large earthquake for an eruption to happen there when it decides. I don't know when. People always ask me. I tell them I'm keeping an eye on it. I don't know when. It's up to God. But maybe uh, magnitude 5 within the park. Now outside of the park, or I should say outside of the resurgent dome, which is drawn in red, here at um, Hedgen Lake, you can get a magnitude 7 and still not have a, an eruption. But within this area, if you start having fives, I would be running for the hills. Yeah, I, I would not grab my coat from um, the closet. I would be heading for the hills if they start having any magnitude fives. Now that would be within the caldera rim. And it's getting brittle. 500 square miles would be instantly vaporized. You'd only have a flash of death when your blood of your brain boils. You want some gruesome details about being vaporized. Yeah, I'm frustrated. Anyways, that's all I have for you right now. Any thoughts or comments or questions, please follow me on Twitter. I'm also on Patreon. Please stay safe. Always be prepared for a disaster. And I will talk to you later. God bless you.